Sagasamita Om Shanti Peace to you Peace to me Hello and welcome to another video My name is Peter And today I'm going to talk about How to connect with your body And master your energy Master How to connect with your body And master your energy Well I'm blessed enough to live a life now Where I do about 10 Qigong classes a week and Qigong is connecting your mind with your body and your breath all three together. Now it really sounds easy but it isn't. So the best way of doing that is to find a Qigong practice that you like. There's many many different Qigong practices that you like that, 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 that are likeable. <laughs> There's many that I like uh, the Kukat Qigong that we teach, it's like a freeform Qigong, so it's, it's up to you where you go with it, with your body, it's like a dance, creative, lower chakra stuff, creation. So th the best way to connect with your body and master your energy is to learn Qigong. Qigong, so for instance you warm your hands up and you need to soften your mind with your body, always softening your mind with your body softening your body with your mind I should say and then as you breathe in and then breathing out coming back down see if you can feel the pressure underneath your palms sensitizing yourself to the earth energies breathing in and breathing out to improve your key circulation now Qigong masters say that 95% of all ailments are due to lack of energy circulation key circulation so when your energy is not circulating properly you'll become stagnant so it becomes stagnant in the material body and therefore an ailment will come and present itself because of that stagnant energy so you've got to keep the key flowing your key energy key means energy gong means utilizing well or mastering so when you've been doing qigong for a little while and you're doing say a qigong sequence so many of them doing it in china around the parks in China no not now <laughs> not in April 2020 but usually you do see that so internal key creates warmth which improves your immune system has been Japanese research I believe now when they say that when you increase your body temperature by one degree your immune system kicks in another five times so each time you, you increase it the immune system keeps improving it goes the other way around when your immune system drops by one degree your immune system depletes I think by 30 it's quite a big drop so keeping your gut warm is so important now when you train with Qigong for a little while after doing the sequences look very simple and not very hard to do but it is focusing your mind and keep focusing on what you're doing you will start to feel internally warm which is rather than frantically working out <laughs> warming up your body really quickly from the outside you're actually warming the body up from the key the inside and you start to sweat you start to get rid of toxins so breathing out because you're breathing in and out you're focusing on yourself you're bringing in good energy good prana they call it in the east key call it in, in the southeast of asia or chi and you're breathing out all the toxins you're sweating out toxins so hopefully you're not doing the other two ways which is peeing and pooping <laughs> while you do your qigong practice but they're the two ways of getting expelling bad energy from the body we hold on to bad energy and when you train for a little bit you'll suddenly realize on the, you, you get these thoughts and feelings from the past mainly and you're releasing stuff you're releasing old emotions and thoughts about situations or things that you've been through basically so you had that and it, it, it helps to get rid of that I remember when I went over to Korea in 2016 I believe it was with the Kukat Kigong UK team and we won our competition which was wonderful it's a great experience about 4,000 people there I do believe and we went to this uh, special place Ilchili has set up 
and there was a cave there, a meditation cave, to get rid of all your childhood memories. And I sat in that cave thinking, well, I've been through a lot of therapy to help them with the traumas of my childhood. Uh, but I'll do that, I'll, I'll, I'll take it seriously. So I, put, I sat in there, I closed my eyes, started to focus on myself, and then I focused on my child. And it was like a time warp. I feel like I was in a time capsule going around each of these occasions. Yeah, I've dealt with that and dealt with that. And I found one. I found one. I found something that I hadn't dealt with. And I released it, forgave the people involved with it and walked out of that cave and my mentor at the time, my teacher at the time, she went, wow, wow, what's happened to you? And I, and I explained the situation. She said, good for you, good for you. And I was holding it on my face, you know, like really, and it kind of just went, ooh, relaxed. So I was holding that anger in my face, facial muscles all the time. And I looked different after I came out of that cave because I'd released it, I'd forgiven it, grateful for being in that position of actually being taught how to do that, which was quite incredible. And it was to do with the Qigong meditations that we were doing. So connecting with your body and mastering your energy really can change your life and for the better. So you become more open-minded. You start to raise up the map of consciousness. If you look at Dr. Dawkins' map of consciousness, the guy who created kinesiology you start to become a little bit more well towards you you want to get towards love and joy peace and finally enlightenment which is to me it feels like oh but you, if you make the right choice every day every moment that you make the right choice you're enlightened it's as simple as that it's not this big thing that's miles away from you it's it's closer than you think but if you go to just observing things so you're neutral oh, it's not good or bad it's just you just observe it without judgment how many times do we judge people all the time so without judgment you're actually starting to observe the world observe your thoughts without judgment we all have bad thoughts we all have bad intentions with our thoughts that come in we'll go oh where did that come from especially when someone's annoying you <laughs> You learn to be a bit more accepting. So acceptance, neutrality. And then you go past that, past the intellect of reasoning, that 500 reasoning. So your intellect, and then let go of the intellect, let it all go. And you're going up into the, the, the love and the joy and the peace, which is a wonderful place to be. And you can, you can observe this world and go, and I've, there's times that I've felt enormous sadness, enormous sadness at the insanity that goes on in this world. There's, I feel that, and many more people now are starting to see, this doesn't have to be this way. So really, to connect with your body and master your energy, you're starting to see the world in a completely different way and you start to see yourself and your place in it in a completely different way, which is so important. You start to make the right choices. So if someone aggravates you, you don't explode at, in, at them uh, and make it worse for the next week if it's your partner or your friend or even lose contact with them. You can learn to just speak about it. I find that you did that quite hurtful and it, it, this is what how I feel about it. So you become more centered focusing on your body, mastering your energy, your energy, your emotions will come in and <laughs> explode. Emotions are juicy, thoughts are a bit, uh, a bit less juicy, but emotions are and they can make you react in certain ways. And I'm not saying don't experience those emotions because those emotions are part of the joy of life, even the bad ones, but don't be overtaken by them because what happens today Tomorrow is a different day. What happens in this moment, the next moment is, is different. So if you get struck by a bad emotion in this moment and you, you take it forward to the next mo uh, moment, you're not mastering your energy. You see it? Oh, that hurts. Next moment, <laughs> I'm laughing. 
So mastering your energy it helps you to navigate life in a lot, lot easier way. And I want that for everybody, really, because that's what we are. That's what we're capable of as human beings. And we seem to be so far away from that. Many of us seem to be so far away from that. Before I took up my Qigong practice, I was so far away from that. I felt I was very spiritual because I had out-of-body experiences. And I thought I had a, a deeper insight into life than everybody else. But that was my ego talking. And now I don't feel like that. I feel very humble and blessed to have what I have and to have the people around me that I have and to be able to have this opportunity to actually speak to you. Very blessed and humble. So, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please like and subscribe. And I'm sure I'll see you in the next video. Sarang Hamid.